Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. Seven days to die. So what's going on today? Well, today, I'm going to build something cool. We're going to build the cement mixer thing. Just so that way we can get that out of the way here before the Day 7 Horde. I have all the necessary components here. Hopefully, I'll have enough to build the workbench as well. So, yeah, that's crafting. Let's check upstairs here. It's now 2200, so day 7 horde will be coming next. Ooh, I hope we have enough to, to survive. That's the only thing that I worry about. So let's let's dismantle this thing here and see what we get out of it. Let's see if we get any springs. We got some more. How about this? The refrigerator top. Let's see what we get out of this. And then there's a bottom. Can we take this apart uh, should we use a pickaxe do I have a pickaxe I thought I had a pickaxe in here did we not build a pickaxe maybe I should build a pickaxe yeah I guess I didn't build one so let's check the materials for that I thought I built these up but I can't remember now so let's just kind of seal this up like so okay let's run down here I should be using the wrench because that's faster let's see here uh, okay um, okay how about the forged was I making anything in the forge no okay so maybe I'll make some forged iron here so forged iron we'll make the forged steel eventually nine ten we'll we'll craft ten up, I think. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll dump this extra stuff in here. And let's take a look at the workbench. What do we need to make the workbench? We need, yeah, five springs. It's the one thing I don't have. The forged iron we will have, but the springs we don't. Let's see here. Now we should have all day for the the day seven hordes, so we still can do some harvesting. And oh, this is kind of neat. It's a neat looking thing. It's actually pretty small, smaller than I thought. Oh, I placed it. I placed it. No, no. <laughs> oh well, I'll have to replace that. What happens if we destroy it? Can we? I'll need a pickaxe. But this is where you can make crushed sand out of small stone, and we can make concrete mix out of. Oh, so cement. Do we do that in the forge here? Yeah, I'm going to put some small stone in here because I think this is where we make cement. Yeah, so we need stones in the system for that. And yeah, cool. That means we can upgrade our wall from the metal and whatnot. So in the meantime, since it's day six right now, let's do a quick peek around here. Let's make sure... Um, that, that's right, I got 10 scrap metal. Do I have... Do I have a... I don't think I have a headlamp in this one. That must be our multiplayer footage that we have. The headlight. Yeah, let's turn that off. Got some forged iron here. Okay, I feel nice and safe in here, which is nice. Can't see crap, so how do we make some lights? How do we make candles? We can make candles. I need this tallow, okay, and I think tallow we can make through this thing right here. Tallow, there we go. Turn that all into tallow, it's a minute 32, wow, that's actually quite a long time. So let's throw stuff in here for that. Let's cook that, now we got that going, okay, well the tallow will make us the candles. Let's just do a quick peek around here. Make sure. Uh, yeah, I gotta put some more wood frames here. So we might as well do that. Let's do what? 50 frames? Should be enough. Might be zombies that might come by. That's okay. I'm just checking in here if we have any frames laying down. Got more chairs. Got another wrench here. Supposedly that works with upgrading, even though it's broken. So we'll give that a shot. A big shout out to Lushable Echo for that little tip. 
So that was a very good tip. Cotton seed, we'll need that with us. Is there any other seeds in here? I don't see any other seeds. We have one first aid kit with us. We also have a healing bandage. Antibiotics we don't really need to have per se. Uh, here's my iron pickaxe. I did have one. I just, I guess I threw it into here instead of on me. So good. So I made this forge iron for nothing, but that's okay. We can use it to repair or to create some new equipment, so it's not a big deal. Um, I just want to see if I break this apart, if it falls apart or not. Or if we get it back. Oh, yeah, so we lose the engine and everything. I did that on purpose because I wanted to see. <laughs> I know Lush Black Echo is going to be like, ah, but that's okay. We can find another engine. No big deal. No big deal. They're in cars and everything, so I shouldn't have done that. Placed it wrong, so my bad on that, but that's okay. So, yeah, so that's the cement mixer. Now let's kind of check our tallow here. Perfect. And now we can make some candles. Let's make let's make as many as we can. Let's make 15 candles because we're gonna try and add some light to this place. So let's see here. Where do we want to put these candles? Yeah, we can hold them. Cool, cool, cool. I do want to put some on the inside here because we do need to see. But where on the inside do I want to put them? I kind of want to put them in the corners, kind of like this. All right, one there, and then one over kind of here. All right, and I want to kind of put one over here, and then one over here. Let's see, let's pick this up. Put one here, put one here. This the light is a lot softer with the candles because we don't need we don't need much in here. We just need enough to see for the hordes. So let's put this one. Like that. Okay, let's throw those in there. Let's throw the wood frames like that. And I think this will allow us to walk up still. Yep, walk down. Okay, perfect. Might not have a hard edge like that. Might use an angled block instead for those two. Let's pick those up. Okay, and yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I'm just kind of waiting for that day seven horde to start. But I think that won't start till the afternoon. So I tell you what, I will come back when it's daytime. I'm just going to carry on kind of upgrading the base here and going on from there. Okay, so I kind of cleared up my inventory as best as I could here. Just kind of move everything around here so we can kind of see what we're, we're working with. So we got our raw resources up here, plant fibers, stone, sc scrap feathers, some wood here with some wood frames, and that stone. Okay, that's a lot of stone, but that's okay. So basically, it's going to be daytime here very shortly. I'm going to have to fix these these windows up here because they're the wrong kind of windows, which is fine. Let's throw that in there. Let's throw that there. So we're going to go on a major kind of harvesting run, right? So we're going to run to this direction and we're going to follow this road and we're going to see where it leads. I might follow it this way but I'm not too sure. I might want to follow it this way instead. We'll see. Maybe I'll follow it this way and we'll follow this road and see kind of where it leads. See what kind of points of interest we can find and mark and, and all that fun stuff. So yeah, so let's do this. So day seven. Here we go. Okay. Now I would like to fall, but I'm not going to try that. We'll leave that open. Okay, so here we go, day seven. So we're going to head towards the west here. Looks like everything is good. I might want to build another layer of spikes maybe, but we shall see. So yeah, so when I get over there, I will come right back. Here's a little surprise. Oh, nice, hit him. Bang. There we go. Quite loud. Got a glass jar out of that guy, which is pretty good. I was going after this rock here because I'm kind of harvesting these rocks as we're going because we kind of need the scrap. And so I'm heading in the west and, of course, <laughs> collecting materials. So that was interesting. 
I'll be back. Okay, so here we are. We're at the edge of this. Now, the road's more to the south, so I'm going to kind of head this way a bit. You see there's some trash here. We need to loot all this kind of stuff for our scavenging skill. And we found, looks like, some more potassium nitrate, which we'll just pick up, I think, because there's not much here. Yeah, just three blocks worth. We'll just kind of harvest this. Perfect, okay. Uh, let's see, let's go more to the south here. Let's see what kind of materials we got in here. Yeah, okay. So just the, the usual, nothing spectacular here. Got the birds tweeting. I don't see anything kind of jumping out at me here. Let's see here. What's over here? What's this? Ah, this is a rock. And it looks like there's a house. Is that the same? I think that's the same house we saw before, so that's cool. We do have to move to the left of us a bit. Because there's another rock here. There's some rocks here. Let's let's harvest these rocks here. Because we need them. One, two, three. Okay, one right there. Okay, three in line with each other. Perfect, so I'm going to harvest up these rocks and then I'll be back. Okay, perfect here. So, just kind of moving some stuff here on my desk. Okay, so let's head south. Now, I know there's more rocks, so I'm not going to worry about those too much. We're going to find this road. What did I just run on? Bird's nest, nice. An egg. We want eggs because we need more bacon and eggs. Come on, where's this road? Right here. Hi. Hi. Oh. So this is what I want the multiplayer experience to be like, exactly like the single player. Because it needs to be, right? Because I do so much better on the single player for melee. Like, I kind of have the distances you judged a little bit. Okay, so we need a car. We need cars. Hmm. This will give me some scrap and stuff. I'm not sure if it'll give me an engine. It's supposed to. Any level is supposed to give you a chance of an engine, but I think the higher the level, the better the chance, right? So that car's gone. Let's run along this road and see where it goes. And yeah, let's equip this bad boy. Let's Let's double check these trashes here. Oh, look at that. We need that. Come on. Okay, we'll come to you. We'll come to you. We will come to you. I need this car more than the meat. We got meat back at the base still. Need to get another engine, basically. Ah, oh, there's another engine. <laughs> there we go. Now, come on. Even with the zoom. Come on. Is it invisible? Why am I missing it? Is it that my aim that off? Hmm. There's two deer here. You think one's fake? How about a little lower? What the hell? Let's go after it here. Where is it? There it is. I don't like how they run the way they do. Did I hit it, you think? There we go. Come on, buddy. That has to have died. Come on. Ah, flaming, flaming deer. I'm going to go after it here because it's definitely worth it. Even if there are zombies. There's a pig too. Nice, these animals are spawning. 
There's a zombie nearby. Hmm. Where, oh, where is there a zombie? Oh, I hear it. Hello, hello! Bang. Come on. Ah. Uh, another arrow here. Come on. Perfect, here we go. Excellent bird's nest. I thought I looted this stuff, but man, I'm still collecting stuff. Okay, let's go back to this biome here. Check out that road again. Before we got distracted by the, the deers. <laughs> Some stone here. There's more stones here. So there's plenty of this stuff. These stones here. Do we have this area marked here? Yeah, kind of. We should be able to see these stones. So let's go back this direction. <laughs> uh, see how easy it is to get distracted? So now we got some more meat. Only four meat from that? Hmm. Interesting. At least we got an engine. That's the important part. So we can rebuild the... Oh, that's no good. That <laughs> bear just took down the, the zombie. Huh. Hopefully that's not a zombie bear. So we're going to kind of walk around the bear here. Oh. Go this way. Down this way. There's some material here. Some more potassium nitrate. Let's go down this way a bit. Hopefully we're far enough. I think there was a zombie to my left there, or... Yep. Yeah. And the road leads into more of this area. That sucks. Okay. Oh, there's buildings there. Is that... Is that because we're heading into the... This biome again? Okay. So it looks like... Ooh, it looks like there's buildings here. Might be crappy stuff. Your town, but I was gonna say city there for a moment. I don't like this road transition here. This kind of going up and like, yeah, I don't like that transition. Hello, hello, folks. Oh, there's uh, there's, there's places here. Can I run through here? Got some cars. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hmm. Hello, hello, zombies. Looks like there's a fire zombie inside of that one house way down there or they're just attacking the house got that one come on they're nice ah come on okay is this guy dead come on Ooh. A lot of zombies here, man. <laughs> a lot of zombies. Okay, it's fine. That's kind of why I'm aiming into them. If you miss one, you're gonna hit the one behind it. Ah, these guys are crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got that guy. Blood draw kit. No, I don't want that. Oh, we do want that to part a woman. So we need to do some stuff here. Let's scrap those. We don't need those. Let's eat that. Drop that. Oh man. Mm. 
thing. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, she's worth it. She's worth it for the food. Okay, let's go after this guy here and since he's gonna be trouble. Let's get this chicky. Ah, come on. Let's go into this area here. Ah, I'm missing. Bang, okay, that one. Okay. Okay, jar. Come on. Come on. Oh, you bastard. Let's try and. There we go. Okay, and what do we have on this? Woman here, departed woman, okay. Perfect. So that was exciting times. Hey, so let's scrap that stuff. Let's use the vitamins. Let's eat the can of miso. What are we at here? And let's eat the beef ration. And then we can drink a bottled water here. Okay, and how good is our stuff? We can scrap this stuff here. Okay, I think we got some stuff. We got a blood draw kit, which is interesting. So that's kind of cool. If we get more of them, we can scrap them. So, empty garbage. So that should have been the whole area here. So what's this store here? Shaka Messiah! <laughs> wow. Man. Um, we're going to definitely break into this place. <laughs> Oh yes. And then there's wood. Let's switch to the wood. And then I think it's metal after. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is going to be awesome. Okay, I wish I had some more light. Oh, look at this. This is what we're looking for. So inside these boxes, we're going to find loot. There we go. And there's going to be parts in here, shotgun parts. And so we're going to kind of casually go through this place. I think there's some bookshelves in here somewhere. So let us actually look for that stuff. Um, Trash pile, another crate. Oh man, I wonder if there's a way. There's crates up here. There's lots of crates. There's th this crate up here is a freebie crate. Um, interesting. We don't want to make the short gun. Yeah, these guys. So let's see. Let's grab that. Let's scrap. I guess we could keep those to make kind of like a better shotgun. But whatever. Whatever. Let's kind of loot this up here. Uh, there's lead there. Do I want to grab the lead? I don't think I have room for it. Okay. Cool. Well, this is a cool place. So definitely we'll have to check this place out after. You know, loot this place up kind of after the, the Day 7 Horde. So let us... Hmm. Let's go. I'm going to run this way a bit. I'm just going to run in each of the different directions just to see kind of how big this this area is. I don't think it is big, but it looks like the road just ends. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. I've got a car here. Let's kind of search it and see if there's an engine on this one. Wow, okay. Hmm. Do I have too much stuff here? I do have too much stuff. We got a lot of stone. We have a lot of glass. I'm gonna get rid of this long barrel because we got a better long barrel, so we'll scrap this one. We'll pick that up, we'll scrap this one. Okay. I guess I could always get rid of the fat. Okay, so now let's actually where's my wrench? Right here. Let's kinda try picking up 
some materials here again. Maybe we'll get another engine. Uh, no, I got one of these car radiators. It's brass, basically. So let's grab. Let's drop that glass jar. I don't like doing that, but you never know when you might see an engine. There's a rabbit there. Can you, you think we can hit it? I don't think so. Not with it moving like that. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, well. We're not going to waste arrows on the, the little guy like that. <laughs> So there's more cars here for engine chance. Uh, do I have a slot for that? Yeah, we don't have a free slot, so we're gonna have to make a point of coming out here. Maybe I can make a secure wood chest, just secure storage chest. I think that's what we'll do. So I will quickly. Oh my goodness! Oh man, that's far away, far away. I'm not gonna go for it. So unfortunately, it's day seven, and that would take me the day to get it. Lush Black might get it, but uh, we're going to come back. We're going to come back. I'm full, so I'm going to just kind of make it back towards the the house. If I encounter anything to harvest, kind of pickaxe-wise, you know, iron, like iron. Anything like iron wise, you know, we're gonna kind of harvest maybe. So, if we find a rock on the way back, if we find any kind of a bird's nest, let's see here. Yeah, the hill's kind of slowing me down. Okay, we're kind of heading back. Oh, there's a rock. Let's grab this. So, yeah, so I'll meet you back at the base. Oh, and just before I forget, for those of you, there's a way to set your temperature in the game. If you go set temp. Unit F, you can ch change the the temperature stuff into Celsius. Where is it here? So now if I go into my character, ah, uh, look at that. Now it's Celsius. Yay, Canadians, us Canadians. And I actually want to change it this way. To can I try set um, unit set unit wind to kph? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm wondering if if there's a way of changing this miles per hour to kph to kilometers per hour. Cause yeah, I'm Canadian, so it's kind of kind of odd. So 32 degrees, 33 degrees, pretty warm, pretty warm. Now the numbers mean more, you more something to me <laughs> instead of you funny Americans. <laughs> uh, there we go. Gonna head back cause we're we're heating up. Ooh, what's this? Did you see this? Ah, too bad there's nothing in there. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. That's just the way there's another rock here. Yeah, okay, so it looks like a lot of rocks if we head directly south. I knew I was going to harvest those, but now we're heating up, so yeah. Let's kind of make it back to the base here. At least we know directly south of the base we'll find all these rocks. Seems a lot farther away than... And what I remembered, but here's the trees, our trees. Find rest, yes, I know, buddy, I will find rest. Whew. Now, I think there's a biome change here. From uh, from this side over to this side. This side actually cools down, I feel. Oh, oh at least I hope it does. Let's kind of run inside here. I'm going to run inside, cool off, and do a bunch of drop-off stuff, and then... Gonna try and upgrade those spikes as best as I can. Let's see here. Let's just drop some stuff into this filing cabinet here. We do have another small engine, so we're gonna you build a, a replacement. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't need this stuff. Don't need that. That we don't need. Throw this stuff in here. I wanted to to fill up on glass jars, but guess not. So this will be good enough. Okay, let's put our wood frames down here. Let's we're gonna use the wrench to repair. So let's see here. I'll leave that open. Horde was gonna come soon. 
So let's see here. What do we need to? Where do we need to upgrade? Let's just start upgrading. Hey, okay, thought I heard a bear, but I didn't. So let's see here. So day seven horde, man, almost here. Okay, so let's start upgrading these. Let's see. There we go. Kind of want to do these ones. Ah, shut up, buddy. I know the heat stroke is getting to you. Okay, and let's pick these up. Make sure we're well away from them so I don't touch the spikes. Okay, run over here. Let's do the same. Oh, oh no, no, no. Did you see that? Yeah, I right-clicked and jumped at the same time. And it didn't place. Sometimes it just doesn't like to place it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, man. Mean spikes. Okay, do that, do that. We're well over overheating. Let's see. Okay, that's a few more done. Not sure how well these will all do, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. Oh, brutal. How many? How much more steel? Do, uh, we don't have much more iron. I'm gonna dump that into the forge because we need more in the forge. We should be okay here. If not, oh well. Guess we'll find out. I'm gonna kind of run inside here. You can see what kind of food we can make. We are having heat stroke. Let's throw all this stuff in here. And let's run down here. Okay. Perfect. Let's use the campfire. Bacon and eggs. We want to make bacon and eggs. We can make basically one of these things, right? Because that's all we can afford. Let's do, so what, 10 seconds should do it? Cook. Okay, and then this one we'll have. So we'll throw our iron into here. And we'll throw some more stone into here because we'll need it. Turn that on. Okay. Now the forged iron thing, let's make that cement mixer thing again that we wasted <laughs> our precious time on. So let's see here, cement mixer. Delete. What am I missing? I'm missing more forged iron. How about workbench? What do we need for workbench? So we need 50 forged iron in total. So 25, 30 forged iron. So if we go like this, go forged iron, type in 30. Perfect. That should be just enough. We'll have more stuff being processed into there. Get three minutes, a minute and a half. Okay, excellent. So that food's done cooking. What's my food at? My food is low, so we definitely want to eat, 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 and drink. So we're going to eat this stuff. We're going to drink. This stuff, we're going to have to do, uh, no, we should be okay with the bottled waters here. So let's kind of throw the glass jar in here. Keep that here. Let's throw these glass jars in here. We'll kind of keep them in here. We got the wood chairs, brass. How do we, oh, we, need, we should be making gunpowder. Let's throw the meat in here, that in there. Let's see, is there anything in here I can, I can melt? Um... We got this, we can make stuff with that. We have another bacon and eggs, maybe we can eat that. Throw the animal I hide in here. Paper, the fat, the blood draw kit, the nail. Let's just throw the glue in there. Um, springs will keep brass car radiator. We can, so this, the oil we can throw in there. So basically what we do with the glue is we make duct tape with it. So, let's see, duct tape right away because it's the only use glue has. <laughs> and then we can do gunpowder that increases your gunsmithing. Uh, gunpowder, why can't I make gunpowder? I need coal. We've got that coal. Gunpowder, there we go, gunpowder maximum. It's gonna take time to craft, but that's good. And we can turn this off. 
We can throw the rest of the, ch the chairs in here. Car radiator. We will throw this in. See, it doesn't say anything in there about how much. So I might have to actually scrap this. Yeah, into the scrap, I guess. I don't. It doesn't have a forge weight, so I don't think we can just directly melt it. Let's actually cancel that. We might be able to directly melt it. But see, this gunpowder we're making, basically that will contribute. Okay, let's go concrete or cement. Cement mixer, we're missing stuff. What are we missing? Scrap cable. Oh, yeah, okay. I knew that would be a problem. Scrap cable, there we go. So cement mixer will craft. And then we will also craft a workbench right here. Look at that. Boom. Bang. Okay. Excellent. So now we got that stuff covered. Throw this stuff into here for now. Uh, brass we'll throw in there. We'll throw those that away. We'll keep the stone axe. We should make a new iron pickaxe. So we need some more forged iron for all of that stuff. So let's see here. Forged iron. Let's do what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do that. Craft 10 of them. And then this will continue to be processed. <laughs> I think we just need 5. And I think we can throw it like this. We'll let that... Ah, see, it got sucked in. Turned into some more iron. <laughs> okay, and... There we go. Three, two, I'll let this burn out. One, bang. Okay. Throw that in there, perfect. And we're still making more gunpowder. This will take a few minutes. So I will come back as soon as the, the horde starts. I'm gonna kinda be out here. Which way do I want them coming from? I want them coming from this direction, but we're gonna kinda watch over here. Uh, let's build. Oh man, let's c cancel this stuff. Let's build a new bow. Bow, wooden bow. Craft. Okay, and then gunpowder after that. We shouldn't die, so we should be okay. Perfect. Okay, there we go. That's what coal is good for. Gunpowder. And we might not. Shoot the stupid heat thing. Come on. We're going to have to fix this roof here too because that's kind of partially not allowing us to be covered. So I kind of have to be along the edges here. This is more safe down here. So I will come back as soon as I hear them. There we go. There we go. So I put the cement mixture here. So now we have this. So how do we use this thing? Crush sand. Make We can make asphalt. Make concrete mix which uses cement and small stones and crushed sand. Okay, that's interesting. So let's make 100. Oh, that's interesting noises. Now, uh, I, now I wonder if that increases the heat map or not. And the workbench is almost done. So let's place this bad boy down as well. Let's see how this one kind of looks. There we go. I guess we could have put that there. So maybe we'll put the workbench instead of against the wall. We'll put it right here. I'm gonna right click to place. Perfect. And this thing just basically operates like you would expect, right? If you want to do like a large amount of of materials, then this is how you'll do it. You'll just put it in here. So if you want to do a lot of spikes, a lot of wood, you wood kind of stuff, then this is where you do it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Made a new bowl. So that's awesome. <laughs> we can upgrade that. So we can throw our bow into here actually as fuel. Where are we? 36 seconds. Pretty good. Pretty good. 72 arrows. We need to make some arrows here so we don't run out. It's what? 28 arrows? 28. So 8 would make it, yeah, 28 arrows. That should give us 100. The gunpowder is almost done, so we can put that away just before the horde starts here. I'm kind of keeping you on the camera because I want you to watch the horde. <laughs> We're going to throw the forged iron away in here. Don't really need to carry it with us. We can throw the long barrel in there. I'm going to keep that. We're going to keep this stuff. Wrench to repair with in case it gets bad. And yeah. 
I'm actually gonna go upstairs here because I can climb up this actually. Okay, and then we, need, we can just take this stuff out. I don't need these. Yeah, they're just more annoying than anything. I did build some windows. Did I? I did not carry them with me. Of course not. Why would I carry windows with me, right? That's hilarious. Did I put them up here? I thought I put them in one of these cabinets things. Okay, must have put them downstairs. There they are. We want those. Let's run up here quickly. So I want to fix that upstairs there. Because it's classified as outside, so it's we're heating up upstairs here. So let's fix this up here. Okay, so it's uh, left click to move. Okay, come on, horizontal, yeah. There we go. Now this should classify it as being inside. Perfect. You can walk on that. I think I'm going to dismantle this thing. Because we can. It's going to be in the way. And this is kind of like our perch. Oh, bird's nest untouched. Nice. I'm hoping they come from that direction. But we will see. The trees, I realize... There, I'm CG broken. Oh, uh, yeah, we can upgrade. Cool, awesome. Thank you, Lushable Echo. <laughs> I didn't realize we could do that. Let's see. Let's, can I get rid of this? Let's fix this up. Perfect. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Now, is it raining? It's raining both. Now, there's these things. I'm as broken, needs to be repaired. I wonder if I use the wrench on that stuff or not. It's gonna be scary actually doing the Day 7 Horde, I find. And it's only scary because of just, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've done a single player game where I've gotten to the 7 Day Horde. I have before, but I don't know. It's just, I always expect it to be worse than what it really becomes. So that's kind of my reasoning behind all of it but since it's hot out here whoa I'm gonna go inside let's go run inside here and let's make sure all these windows are sealed up nicely and I think they all are now so now it should count as inside here let's see here if I go character we should see this temperature why is it increasing if we go here, I'm still increasing. But then we go down here. Hmm. <clears throat> Why is it increasing? It should be going down, no? If I drink that, will that counteract? I don't need to drink actually, we're doing pretty good. The food, if anything, is what we need. Or is it in this area that we're going down in temperature? No, we're still going up. Hmm. Not sure what to do about that. <laughs> Let's eat these. This is why my wellness is going up, because we are, are uh, <laughs> doing all this stuff here. Uh, let's throw, let's keep the scrap, throw the egg in there. So the reason we smelt and put back in and smelt and put back in is because you know it's just better that way. So it's ah, so make crushed sand for us. That's awesome. Concrete mix. So we need cement. How do we make that stuff? Let's see cement. Let's make a hundred units of this stuff. What well, we can make? Twenty-five. It takes only 25 seconds to make that. That's interesting. We're almost at 2200 here. We're dicking around with cement. It's hilarious. There is a new pickaxe. It just seems like it's so much time, but it's not. It's only a few seconds. Three, two, one, bang. Okay, turn that off. We throw this in here. Okay, so if we grab this stuff. 
we have concrete mix. There we go, it's making concrete mix. Yay! Exciting times, exciting times. Fun and games and seven days to die. So is temperature still going up for me? Or is it just hovering kind of at this range? Or is it better down here? I don't think that thing has a noise yet. So I'm not sure if it's affecting the heat map. Yeah, so here we're going down. So I'm wondering if it's... Okay, 35.79. Let's see here. What's this like up in here? Interesting. It's going to be interesting to fight. We got some waters. We just need to kill a decayed mother. Which I thought we did to complete that quest. Maybe I'll use the stone axe to knock this stuff out for the construction tools. Instead of using... I guess we could use the axe. It doesn't matter. The axe would be faster. We don't need these anymore. I don't know. It's kind of... Three hits instead of four hits. Let's use this stone, and this is a crappy stone axe. Huh. Interesting. You're overheating. You want rest. Or shelter. Cool, so basically... Now with the cement and concrete, we'll be able to create cobblestones, and we'll be able to upgrade those directly instead of upgrading our walls to scrap. And we'll kind of have to start working on that. But we'll be able to loot that little tiny mini town, maybe do some more exploration of that stuff. I'm running inside here because this is only seems to be the only spot where I can recover from the heat. Which is just interesting. It's very annoying this heat stroke thing. And even though I'm not wearing anything like this is just what's brutal. It's just I'm not wearing anything. See, now it's going down. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the calm before the storm. If we were outside watching, we'd probably see the blood moon coming up. So I might, I want to keep these, but I might fill these in. Might upgrade those, not sure. Here we go. Now maybe it's, in, it's considered inside. So which way are they coming from? Still undetected, hey? Ah, are they coming from that direction? So we'll stand on this side. Make them come all the way. We're not going to be able to see much, unfortunately. There they are. Hello, hello folks. I think if you just keep walking... As long as they run along, we need lighting out there. Where are they coming from? I don't even know where they're coming from. Maybe they're coming from over here. Yeah, come on, folks. Come on. Woo! Brutal. Brutal. I can't see where they're coming from, though. Come on. Gotta keep walking them because if our defenses break down at any point, we are so screwed. Okay. Nice. So I'm on the opposite. I think they're coming from that corner down there. Let's see, it's kind of. Yeah, no, are they coming from that over there? Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, so I think they're coming in from that direction they're coming around right so let's kind of do a quick health check here oh man come on folks there we go come on they're beating on stuff let's run downstairs quickly See nothing. 
Okay, it's actually doing pretty good, so let's keep moving them. Keep moving, there's the blood moon. Whew! Exciting times, exciting times. Fun and games in seven days to die. Yep. Nice. Nice. So this withstands is probably day seven horde effectively. Okay. It looks like it so far it's being successful, but this side's being hammered. Man. Yeah, look at this stuff. This side's just being hammered. So definitely, now the idea I have is to build a secondary wall outside of this one, same height, and, but it's going to be built out of cobblestone and we're going to upgrade it to concrete right away. I think we'll be able to go that route, I hope. That's kind of the route I'm going. Let's kind of do another walk around here. Yeah, it's definitely where they're coming in on. Hello, zombies. I don't even see you. <laughs> All I do is I hear you. Oh, here they are. There's a bunch here. So they're coming in from here, maybe? Weird. Maybe they're just confused as where to go because the reality is, is this place is quite impenetrable. At least I think it is. Smashing up some stuff still. Come on, folks. We'll let them come this way. Yeah, when they sound loud, then we know they've come and we keep them walking. This far corner again. Oh, that's a layer. They're smashing something. Yeah, look at those spikes are just trashed. A lot of those were wood spikes too, so obviously, yeah. But yeah, no, definitely they're doing good number. We we'll definitely have to get them up to Okay, is that it? I think that's the day seven horde. I think it's done. There's probably just a couple zombies there, so that's awesome. So there you go, folks. So this is a great place to have a horde. There's no crazy things, no... Got it here. Let's see here. Let's kind of do a quick peek around here. Okay, perfect. So there you go, folks. Here's the Day 7 horde. Now, I'm confident that I should be able to quit this here fairly soon. I'll probably wait till it gets to 4 a.m. and then I'll quit. So yeah, so there you go folks. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Oh, where's that another wave? Sorry, just need to... Oh, there we go. Oh. Because stuff is seeing me, or what? Or is it still day seven horde stuff? That's it. I think that's it. Let's sit here quietly, and you be out of the range of everybody. Sitting in the rain nicely. So there you go, folks. There's the Day 7 Horde. Awesome. So yeah, so so tomorrow we'll continue with with our looting run of that little town that we, we saw. So we'll run down there, we'll do some looting. And then, I don't know, then maybe we'll start kind of working on the wall and go from there. Maybe, maybe. Going to kind of run into here, close the door. Gonna see if this counts as inside or outside. Hey, we're still heating up, man. Hmm. Interesting. Now, are we heating up because it's it's wet and cold outside? That could be something too. 
No, it's just heating up be just because <laughs> I don't get the system sometimes. Yeah, weird. Maybe because it's slowly going into daytime, so the heat's slowly increasing. Uh, I don't know. Very interesting. I always wonder about that. But yeah, but anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Well, I made 40, and I placed them already. Now I'm collecting more wood. They don't take long to make, actually. No, they don't. I figure if I can hear the dogs, I'll just start running. i run for the, the ladder. <laughs> Let's try this. This is mining tool. More. For spikes? Yeah, it's just uh, one more layer around, I think. But we are three layers deep of the unknowns. I think that's good enough. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think so. Three, like three layers, including the. No, three layers, not including. Okay, cool. You know, like we always do. Yeah. And then we'll have to collect a bunch of scrap wire and then upgrade the spikes. Which means, really, after the day seven horde, then we can start exploring that house yeah. city and shit. Yeah. Exactly. So can I use this thing on this? It's not worth it. How do you, I wonder if you can tell when he's done growing. When what, sir? The trees are done growing. Uh, when they're, when they're, they're the size for that tree type. Yeah, but you don't know. Not until you start growing them and you know yeah, the... You have to hit it. You have to hit it and then it's too late if it's not. Like this one here, is this full size or no? Uh, none of them are. No? Okay. No. The one almost looks like it is. If it's the one in the stone area there. I think it's oh, almost is there. Is that dogs or is that you? No, it's me. It's me. Yeah, it's dogs. What? Whoa! Dogs. Whoa, motherfuckers. Holy shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Where is it? <laughs> Tied by spikes, motherfucker. I like that you said, oh, it's no big deal. And you start running up the ladder. <laughs> well, because I was already here, pretty much. There we go, butter. Your little buttercup is dead. It's like, oh, <laughs> we could kill them. Oh no, there's a dog, you have running away. I didn't even know there was a dog until you said there was. I said, what? <laughs> Oh, there's another one! Come back! Come back! Come back! Uh -oh. Come back! <laughs> Guys, saw it coming from the distance, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. People are saying that these spikes are useless, but they don't. They seem Bullshit. To they, they seem, you know, like they used. To, like they're pretty good, I think. Yeah. They're disposable spikes. That's the whole point. Uh, like is this gonna be like this all day now or like usually it's not so bad but I think that's this spawn I hope I don't know I don't know what to tell you yeah that one tree in the stones almost big I think I think one more level for that one I want to go plant this shit that plant here. Oh, I'll come out too do we get anything from dogs uh, maybe oh, yeah, with the hides. leather there you get hides Right. Oh yeah, this tree, this is the one you're talking about. Is this one done? Ah, uh, this is almost there, I think. Still, one more layer, or one more... Is this stuff ready to be harvested? No, not yet. There's not many here. Puts this now, I'm fucking... Yeah, this one, that one you're at, is that full or no? Not yet. I, okay. I think one more layer, it's still pretty small, the trunk. Well, if they changed how the blueberries look now. No, that's not blueberries, but oh, that's potato, that's what that is. I wonder if they'll come from the one direction always. They'll make it easy if they do. How many wood spikes do you have? Like you did 40. Okay, so I should do probably 40 more. Sure. I wonder why, why they changed how they look. I didn't run inside for a moment. They look more threatening than the woodlock spikes do now. Yeah, they do, don't they? I think this is good for the 7 day horde. Should be, yeah. Uh... I think, I think you're right. See, a lot of people put their priority on looting the first few days. I think that's a mistake. Um, like few days is building up something like this. I think you need to get your your seven day horde shit 
in order, right? So, yeah. so basically, first day, your know, first few days should be maybe a little bit looting, and mixed in with, you know, harvesting for resources for you getting your base ready because you need to survive that seven day horde. Once yeah. you you survive that, you have like three or four days, you know, free of of looting after because then you have a place yeah. to upgrade, um, or t to repair after the horde, right? Yeah. Uh, I th it's all the way around now. Yeah, good. Cool. I'm gonna just run inside here for a second. It's been about two hours. From when the first horde came to the next one was about two, three hours, so... Kinda care. Or the, like, doggy thingy. So remember when you get your pickaxe down to where it's unusable? Yeah. Just uh, put it in, burn it in the forge and just make a new one. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we need go. the skills. And you'll get all the iron iron back if you do it that way. It really? won't cost anything, yeah. You put it in the forge, like melt it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. At least that's how it used to be. You always got the same amount of iron it takes to make it back. Right. Yeah, I can actually now kind of say I feel like we're finally ready. So. <laughs> Other than upgrading the those ones to metal, those wood log spikes, but I think that's not important until base 14 at least. Yeah, exactly. I guess we're doing good for water and stuff. And... Yeah. But then again, when you have multiple people on a server, that, that's what happens, right? Because you, you can get a person building, person scavenging, so you do better that way. Yeah. Like if single player, you know, it would be worse off for food because if you were only building, you'd have no food, right? So. Well, exactly. You have to do a little bit of both. The dog horde thing kind of pisses me off. I'm not sure why, but I think it's because it's it kind of makes it challenging to loot or anything. I'm just harvesting on the base and stuff, so. Yeah, but you can only do so much of that too. I like how you're wearing the mining helmet still. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I don't know, I like it. It actually doesn't do the temperature stuff. It's not that bad. Yeah. They kind of tweak that, all that stuff. That's not as bad as what it used to be. Do we have any schematics for like... I think you have schematics for something, right? Like leather or iron or something? Uh, so I saw in your video you looted something. Yeah, I have a leather hood, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I love that. Because <laughs> leather hood is at minus or plus for uh, temperature. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know until you craft it. <laughs> it oh. doesn't tell you anywhere. I don't know, it sucks. They should tell you. Because if it was minus temperature, then maybe I'd take it. But... I also have... Uh... I know the iron is, right? So. I also have iron gloves. I can make iron gloves, basically. I found that as well. Well, maybe we should make some of those then, maybe. We have some leather strips or whatever. You could, can't you turn the leather we have yep. into leather strips? Yeah, well, uh, we no, do. because you need the leather working or whatever. Really? Yeah. There's a... Strips, really? In your... No, I don't think there is leather strips anymore. It's just the leather which we have. Like, there's the leather tanning which gives you recipe leather. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but we don't. We have leather already, so you, there's nothing less than the leather that we already have. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no yeah. such thing as leather strips. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, because I remember them like little strips, right? Holy shit. What? On the bricks. Oh, fuck, I thought there was a big dog horn coming, so I was trying to run for the, the ladder. No, I want to see what the, brick, what the bricks gave you, but uh, they're 1200, so. Oh, they're huge. Okay, I just I thought I heard pitter patter, but just put your know, feet. Yeah. <laughs> like day six, we could actually go check out the. Yeah. Well, if we're ready, if the base is ready, then exactly. Because we have a couple days after this stupid dog work thing. Yeah. Because well, we have day six and then and day seven and during the day. I need ten strips. So iron. Forged iron, ten of these. Forty-four seconds. And, and you want to do this anyways? Okay, now I can make the workbench because I just leveled. So cool. 
Nice. Nice. You want to do what? Do this anyways? What? This harvesting because it increases your skills too. So. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. You're right. It's cleaning right. up around the place. Not, yeah. See, leather tanning isn't the book anymore. You can get that as a skill now. Throw this like that. Yeah, let's go make the workbench. Throw that. Bobo. Like that. Split those up like that. Beautiful. 